good day to all of you and i once again welcome you all in this course on introduction to engineering thermodynamics in the previous video we have discussed about the quasi static processes and in this video we are going to understand about the types of thermodynamic processes and we are going to understand isobaric isochoric isothermal and adiabatic processes in this video so let's begin and start with the isobaric process iso is a prefix and that is often used to designate a process for a particular property remains constant and baric this word is come out from the barometer which is used to measure the pressure that means baric means pressure so a process during which the pressure p remains constant is called as a isobaric process let's understand this processes with the help of the example here we are having a piston and cylinder arrangement this is our cylinder and in this cylinder we are having a piston so this is our piston which is a massless frictionless which can reciprocate inside this piston let's say the initial state of this system described by the pressure p1 volume v1 and temperature t1 after a process executed the state of the process final state of the process can be written as volume is v2 temperature is t2 and pressure is p1 so we can see here at the initial state the pressure is p1 at the final state the pressure is again p1 therefore we can write as that delta p is equals to 0 let's understand with the help of the pv diagram so let's say we are having a pressure here and volume here and initial state is described by 1 and final state is described by 2 so this 1 to 2 process we call it as the isobaric processes in practical practical life or day to day to day life we often see the uh, various isobaric processes such as we are having a container in that container you are having a water and you are giving heat to this water as you give heat to this water this water will be converted into vapor and as the vapor is a steam so the whole process is getting taking place from liquid to vapor is at the atmospheric pressure which is a 1 atm so the process in which liquid transform to the vapor is a constant pressure process or the isobaric process similarly if you freeze the water into ice that is again a constant pressure process let's understand more in the context of the idle gas equations so we know that the idle gas equation is written as pv is equals to mrt where m is mass r is your gas constant and here we are having the p is constant so we can write here is that p divided by mr is equal to the t by v therefore this term is your constant and c is equal to t by v so we can write here is that v is directly proportional to the temperature which is nothing but a charles law so i hope that you have understood about the isobaric process let's understand about the isochoric process again iso is a prefix and choric means volume and a process during which the volume v remains constant that process is known as the isochoric process again let's take an example of the piston and cylinder arrangement at initial state the pressure written as the 
P1, volume is V1, and temperature is T1. And after a process is executed, a final state is achieved by a system, and the final state can be described as the pressure is P2, volume is V1, and temperature is T2. So here we can see that the volume at initial state is V1 and the volume at the final state is V1. Therefore, we can write here is that delta V is equals to zero. There is no change in the volume. Let's draw the PV diagram for the constant volume process or the isochoric process. Here we are having the pressure, here we are having the volume and uh, we, we have to describe about the constant volume processes. So we are having the constant volume. So this is the one state and this is your final state. So throughout we are having the constant volume. In day-to-day -day life, we, we also see the many various applications related to the uh, constant volume process, such as if you are cooking something into a pressure cooker, Let's say you are having a pressure cooker in which you are cooking something. And uh, when you cook inside, uh, in this cooker, so there is no change in volume. The volume will be remains constant inside the pressure cooker. If there is no whistle, there is no mass transfer will be taking place in this system. So if a whistle is absent, there is no valve there. So we can consider this as approximately as a constant volume process and in the auto cycle the heat addition and the heat rejection process are also takes place at the constant volume processes now let's understand in the context of the ideal gas equations so as we know that ideal gas equation is written as pv is equals to mrt so here we are having the volume v constant m and r already constant and we can write here is that V divided by MR is equals to your T by P. And from that, we can write here is that T is, is uh, V by MR is C, that is constant, and T by P. And from that, we can write here is that P is proportional to T. Uh, there is nothing but it is a Galusac law. I hope that you understood about the isochoric process. Now let's begin. Let's understand the isothermal process. So isothermal process is a process in which the pressure, uh, a temperature remains constant. So if the initial state described by the P1, V1 and T1 and the final state is described by the P2, V2, and T1. So we are having temperature constant. So here we are having the delta T will be equal to your zero. There is no change in the temperature. And if we draw on the PV plane, we can see a curvature like this. So we are having pressure P here and volume V here. And this is your initial state and this is your final state. And we are having a, lots of examples for the isothermal processes also, uh, such, as, uh, such as a change of state or a phase change of different liquids through process of melting and evaporation are considered as a constant temperature process. And uh, there are lots of processes that takes place when we talk about the Carnot cycle or the Stirling cycle. They are having a constant temperature process. So to make them process isothermal or to make them process as a constant temperature process, we have to make a process very slow. If you make the process very slow, then you will be able to get the isothermal process. Let's understand in the context of the uh, idle gas equation, as we know that again, PV is equals to MRT, here T is constant. Therefore, PV will be equal to C. And we can write here is that P 
is equals to c by v and from that we can write here is that p is anti proportional to the volume which is nothing but it is your boyle's law i hope that you understood about the constant temperature process now let's understand about the adiabatic process a uh, adiabatic and adiabatic process is one in which no heat is gained or lost by the system uh, a an isolated system is a good option for the adiabatic process so let's say we are having a system and in this system we are having some gases or some heat are generating here but it is isolated that means it cannot transfer its heat to the surrounding so here we are having delta q is equals to 0 and we are considering as a whole system as a isolated system that is that is, it is not possible to transfer heat inside this system so the system is not allowed to go heat out from the system and there is no possibility to enter the heat also from the surrounding into the system and that kind of a processes in which delta q is zero we call it as a adiabatic process the process is adiabatic but it takes place inside the isolated system i hope that you understood about the all four processes these are the isobaric isochoric isothermal and adiabatic thank you for listening have a nice day god bless you and bye bye to all of you